Welcome back to The Count. I'm Lydia Serrani. The nonsense that comes out of the mouths of members of the leftist media, it really never ceases to amaze me. Here's a look at some of the latest lunacy courtesy of MSDNC's Morning Joe. A guy who, whose life now is dedicated to reversing the work of Martin Luther King. Of course, he's referring to Trump, and you have to laugh because it's so absolutely ridiculous. Joining us now to discuss president of the National Federation of Republican Women, Julie Harris, also with us, Republican candidate for Congress in California, and U.S. Marine veteran Kate Monroe. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Julie, let's start off with you first. Uh, I mean, if, if you thought Joe Scarborough was talking nonsense in that clip, let's take a look at this uh, so-called expert describing MAGA Republicans to joyless read. Ethical influences, informed consent, re respecting conscience, and mind control, authoritarian cultism creates this uh, uh, dissociative disorder where people are dependent and obedient. They become clones of the cult member. The critical thing with MAGA people is I recommend people talk about Chinese communist brainwashing and these methods and pimps and traffickers because they all use behavior control, information control, thought control, and emotional control. What do you think about that, Julie? I think it's bullying and gaslighting. They're trying to get the voters, they're undermining the voters' sense of reality. And their strategy is, is to ridicule, to intimidate, to embarrass. President Trump and his supporters over an extended period of time. They began when he came down the escalator at his very first, um, right after the primary, at the very first election, and they haven't stopped. And they'll just continue to roll out a new light, just like this with MLK Day. Uh, they see that uh, President Biden is coming down in the polls among black voters, and President Trump is coming up in the polls. So they have to roll out a new lie. This is just more of the liberal media and the Biden administration peddling lies. But we can see with our own eyes the invasion of our country on our borders. We know uh, that our economy is in dire straits. We see the price of gas. They can tell us that gas, gas is better now, but we can see it. We're pumping our gas, and we know that we're, it's hovering around 350. And so the American voters are not buying what the liberal media is peddling this election cycle. And, and speaking of lies and distorting uh, President Trump's words, look, let's take a look at this clip again from NBC as they, uh, Biden's economic advisor continues to spread lies. Gas prices at the pump are so important uh, for American families and a big focus of President Biden. We are pleased that uh, gas prices have come down by $1.40 relative to that uh, peak uh, that was caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. What do you think about this, Kate? All the lies. Well, I live here in California, so when I see this 350, I laugh because it's really like six dollars a gallon. I don't know where this 350 is. I'd mm -hmm. love to be there, mm -hmm. but it's not just the lies. Like in reality, if you have ever read the Bible, it makes a very strong warning to those who have a station or status over other people and have a platform to speak at a pulpit, if you will, on the media and mislead those in their charge. And that is exactly what's going on across the left with this liberal media. And they need to be very careful because the American people are waking up to this. People are tired, not only of your lies, of your gaslighting, and of your outright condescending, rude, and disgusting behavior. You are trying to liken the control of the MAGA population to a pimp. Meanwhile, you are the one that's actually controlled with your Trump derangement system. I mean, syndrome. It is you that is under the ether of pure insidious evil. Right. Look what they did, MS uh, DNC, what they did to Rona McDaniel. They couldn't, they couldn't bear to have someone with a dissenting opinion walk their hallowed halls. I don't know how they don't get nosebleeds as they stand up and perched on their morally superior high horses. It's incredible. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, uh, Julie? You know, Joe Biden, you know, he, all he does is pander, right? And that's all he wants to do. He wants to get the votes. He wants to remain in power. Let's take a look. Every Greek American in Delaware voted for me because they. No, 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 no. By the way, as some of the Delawareans will tell you, 
That's why I acquired a nickname I'm very proud of. I am Joe Bidenopoulos. You know, he's just so silly with all of this stuff. I mean, what was the other, you know, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I think that the Democrats have been trying for a long time to convince us we have lying ears, lying, lying eyes, and a lying wallet now. Uh, we see that Joe Biden, he doesn't even know what day it is. He can barely feed himself ice cream. It is his administration that is in charge. It is something that we should all be concerned about. But again, I want to stay focused on the things that Americans care about. I travel the country, speak to thousands of women. They care about our border. They care about the economy. And again, we're feeling the effects of the Biden administration in our wallet, in the lying media, liberal media is not going to be able to convince us any differently. And I want to get your uh, a quick reaction there, Kate. Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree. I know you guys know that I actually took the time to go down and secure the border. Mm -hmm. It was that important to me. You know, I went and visited all of the Republican women's here in San Diego and in Orange County, and that's the number one topic in San Diego across the nation. And I got to tell you, when you try to tell people mm -hmm. The border is closed, and they see with their eyeballs that it clearly is not. Yeah. Enough is enough. They'll take that lie, and they'll extrapolate that out over everything else you say right. is now a lie. We have to leave it right there, ladies. We've got to wrap up the show. Thank you so much for, for joining <laughs> us this you. evening. All right, that'll do it for us.